And last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to take the money. I have to because I can't. I can't. You say something, but if you're wrong, you lose the money. Still a good night's raise of four thousand pounds to play for Alex Monsera. Final answer. Yeah, final answer. Let's go for Monsera. Came for sixteen thousand. You had sixty-four thousand. You just won 125. My history is usually quite good, but uh, I can't afford to drop that much on a guess. Give him a big hand. Ian Saunders goes home with 125,000 pounds. I'm going to go for Jeff Goldblum. Final answer. 8,000 pounds. We'll play great. <laughs> Here we are again. Hello. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Saturday night, still in the hot seat from Tuesday, so he's clearly in no hurry at all to vacate that chair. It's Craig Tassane. Now, he starts tonight on £8,000 by his own admission, the most money he's ever had in his life. He also has one lifeline remaining. Craig's from Hailsham in East Sussex, up in the audience again tonight, his friend Karen. Craig has done many, many things in his time, including being a bingo caller, uh, and a male dinner lady at his daughter Kelly's school for a while. Craig says he's absolutely loving it being on the show. In fact, he was so happy that for lunch on the way to the show, he just had to get himself a happy meal. That's true, isn't it? It is indeed. I, I was just so happy. It's brilliant. So you haven't found it that, that gruelling then? A little bit gruelling, but very, very enjoyable as well. Now, have you got a, have you got a plan for tonight? You've got £8,000, you've got one lifeline left. You've got, a, you've got a phone a friend. To try and be as calm as possible, look at the question, and just take it as it comes, really, uh, and not to blow it. Yeah, don't blow it, whatever you do. Um, you spoke to Kelly. I have. What did she say? Was she absolutely ecstatic? <laughs> Kelly's first words to me were, how much are you going to give me? <laughs> how old is she? <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, they do that. Yeah. They do that. All uh, their lives from then on, they do that. Now, don't forget, you can practice playing Millionaire anytime, 24 hours a day, online at our website, www.itv.co.uk. But Craig, at the moment, is playing for real. Right now, he's got seven questions to go until the million. He's still got one lifeline intact. He's got phone a friend. Craig, lots of luck, mate. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? This is question number nine of a possible 15. Which Beatle took the lead vocal on the song Yellow Submarine? Paul McCartney, George Harrison, John Lennon, Ringo Starr. I've got a slight inkling, but... What are you thinking? I have a feeling for Ringo Starr for some reason, um, but I'll use my lifeline. Okay, okay. And even then, you know you can take the money if you're not happy. Yes. It's a lot of money for you to drop, I know. Okay, uh, who are we going to call? Nigel. Nigel, please. okay. What's he? he he's in London, actually. Okay, call Nigel. Hello? Nigel? Yep. Hi, yeah, it's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Oh, hello. Hello there. We're on uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, as you probably guessed. Yeah. Uh, I've got Craig here. Yeah. Now, he's doing fine. He's on £8,000. Yeah. But he's stuck on a particular question. He's hoping you can help him get up to 16000 OK. OK. Next voice you'll be Craig. So he's telling the question. There are four possible answers. One of those is worth 16000 That's the one we want. Right. All right, mate. Lots of luck. OK, Craig. 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Which Beatle took the lead vocal on the song Yellow Submarine? Ringo Starr. Are you certain? Absolutely certain. OK, thank you very much indeed. You're welcome. Well, it's up to you. You know you lose seven if you're wrong. You Final answer, Ringo Starr. You're a bit keen, aren't you, Starr? <laughs> 
definitely. I, I, if Nigel says it like that, then I would say it's certain. Even though he was mainly drummer? Yes. Okay. He came back with £8,000. He just won £16,000. Great! What a start! £16,000! How do you feel? Numb. <laughs> totally. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah. I just didn't ever think I'd be in this position. I really didn't. Take your time. You've got £16,000 now. Craig, concentrate. The next very tempting milestone is £32,000. You do not have to play this question. This is it. We're six away from a million. Here it is. What is the name of the famous statue on top of the Old Bailey in London? Honour, Justice, Prudence, Angelica. I'm being drawn to one um, that seems the obvious answer to me. I'm really not certain. Take as long as you need. I'm going to get the money. Sure? Yes. I'm ever so glad. I'm Sorry. really not certain. What did you think it was? With it being the old Bailey, I was drawn towards justice, but I'm not certain, so I'm not going to take a chance. Make a big difference to your family, £16,000? It certainly will, yes. Have one last little peep and tell me you can take the money. I'll take the money, definitely. Okay, give him a big hand. Craig to Sam goes back to Hailsham. Well done, mate. I'm really pleased with With £16,000. We always say there are no trick questions on Millionaire. And it was one of those where you thought that just might be too obvious. Justice actually was the right answer. You would have got £32,000. It was too much money for you to risk, mate. Give me a big hand. Craig Desane, £16,000. <laughs> OK, we have ten brand new contestants this Saturday night. We'll meet them all in a couple of minutes after the break. Join us again. Don't go away. To the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Saturday night. We've got ten brand new contestants all hoping to get themselves into the hot seat. Let's meet them. They are Tracy Allen from Lancashire, Colleen Price from Staffordshire, David Whiteside from Kent, John Taylor from Worcestershire, Gareth Jones from Winnet, Ian Young from London. Dee Scarborough from West Glamorgan, Janet Clays from North Wales, and Darren Combs from Derbyshire. Right, that's your ten tonight. OK, here we go. Eyes down, you ten. Fastest finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time is next this Saturday night to play for a possible £1 million. Audience, nice and quiet, please. As quiet as a really exciting moment on Countdown. Let them concentrate. It's fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Put these acronyms in alphabetical order. That's one of those that will actually be a lot easier when you see the possibilities than it sounds. Anzac, AWOL, Azlef, Abta. So it sounds a bit scary. It's actually not that complicated. It's basically uh, alphabet. Um, so, alphabetical order, first then uh, ABTA, Association of British Travel Agents, then ANZAC, Australian New Zealand Army Corps, then uh, ASLEF, Associated Society of Locomotive Engineers and Firemen, and then uh, AWOL, Absent Without Leave. Right, that's the right order. Now, ten started. All these got it right out of ten. How many? Not that many. Who was fastest of those? Uh, Tracy Allen in 7.18 seconds. Tracy! <laughs> Absolutely terrified. Yeah. You nearly good at this? Yes, uh, yes. yes is the yeah. answer. Let's do it. What well up?
Right, this is Tracy Allen. She's a sandwich shop co-owner from Burnley in Lancashire. Up in the audience there is husband David, looking very proud. And uh, watching at home are the kids, Mark, Lindsay, Damien, Dominic and Welly the cat. Uh, despite running a sandwich shop, Tracy's been so nervous, she says, about coming on the show, she hasn't been able to eat at all for the last couple of days. She even threw a whole Chinese takeaway yesterday straight into the dustbin. Uh, she does say that she's looking forward to a slap-up feed after the show, is the first thing she does. She says her most popular sarnies are BLT these days and chicken tikka, but her strangest order is a man who has bacon, cheese, pineapple, mayonnaise and tomato ketchup in his sandwich every single day. That's true, isn't it? He sometimes misses the ketchup. Oh, does he? Occasionally. Oh. But, yeah, strange. Do you eat sandwiches yourself? Not that we've met. <laughs> what, do you, what do you know about them that they don't know? Well, if you've been making sandwiches from half past seven yeah. in the morning till two o'clock every day, you just think, no. Well, I can imagine. Now, you say, although you enjoy it, if you won a fair bit of money tonight, you'd give up the sandwich shop. I'd retire. Would you? Like that. Like that. Like that. Good girl. You say you get quite nervous. You've been nervous thinking about it, and you're going to have to take nice big breaths. I have done. You look quite calm now. I'll let you know. Okay, fingers crossed. You say you'd like to... Of all the people in the world you'd like to make a sandwich for, it would be George Clooney. Yeah. <laughs> George Clooney, girl. What sort of filling would you make him? Me. Between two wheat fields, just as yeah. you could do it. Okay, well, best of luck tonight. Uh, now, a word about, just before we start, a word about something new for Millionaire. You remember last year as we had couples, I remember, it was brilliant, playing for a million. Uh, the havoc mm. that caused. Well, we really are taking our life into our hands very soon now. We've got some parent and child specials coming up. I don't know how they're going to work, but we're looking forward to them. Mums and dads, sons and daughters, we need you. We're looking for one parent and one child. you both got to be over 16. So if you want to prove on national TV that your folks really don't know everything like they say they do, now give us a call. And remember, kids, whoever makes the call gets the cheque made out to them. <laughs> so this is the number to ring, 09068 444444. And you can see a summary of the rules on Telefex, page 375. Uh, visit the website, as usual, or, of course, you can write to us at the normal address as well. Right, Tracy, lots of luck. Nice big breaths, three lifelines, 15 questions, one million pounds. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Question number one, for £100, here it is. Complete the title of the famous musical Paint Your Face. Wagon. Ceiling. Toenails. Wagon. It's the right answer. <laughs> okay, question number one for £100. This is number two for £200, here it is. What is said to drop when you finally understand something? Clanger, the penny, your H's, your trousers. The penny. The penny, you've got 200 pounds. <laughs> Question number three, 300 quid, here it is. What's the name of a jelly-like sweet flavoured with rose water? Egyptian thrill, Arabic pleasure, Greek treat. Turkish delight. Turkish delight. You were worried for a second there, weren't you? Not just a bit. So was I. <laughs> it's the right answer. You got 300 quid. <laughs> okay, 400 pounds. Here it comes. What's the name for a sand hazard on a golf course? Bunker. Fairway. Green. Putter. Play golf? Golf? No. Hate golf? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you think? It's not a green. A putter's one of the clubs, I'm fairly sure. And I think the fairway is another piece of green. But I think we'll ask the audience anyway. Just okay. To be sure. Okay, that's what they're for. Audience, on your keypads, please. Let's make sure we get Tracy up to 500 quid. This is the question. What's the name for a sand hazard on a golf course? A, B, C or D, all boat now. That's quite high. That's what we'll go with, I think. Bunker. 
That's what those life funds are for. Good play? Yeah. Right answer you got. Five hundred pounds. Well played. There's no point risking it. Use those lifelines early if you need to. If you give me a wrong answer at this point, you would go home with nothing at all. Tracy, you got £500. This is the last point that could happen. The next question would guarantee you £1,000. You've still got that 50-50 and you can phone a friend. This is for £1,000, guaranteed. Which of these is a type of unofficial court? Koala, kangaroo, wallaby, dingo. Kangaroo. It's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Good. Take a big breath. Feel better? Mm-hmm. What does that mean? You've got a thousand pounds guaranteed. I've got a thousand pounds more than I came with. A lot more than you came with. So... It's a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> Have a look at number six. You might as well play this, Tracy, whatever. It's for two thousand pounds. Which of these featured Minnie the Minx? Viz. Private Eye. New Statesman. Beano. Beano. Not New Statesman. Nope. Beano. Final answer. Yeah. That's the right answer. You've got 2,000 pounds. <laughs> and you've still got two lifelines left. Question number seven. You're nine away from a million. You're four away from the next big milestone of 32,000 pounds. Wouldn't that be nice? Have a look at number seven. It'll bring you 4,000 pounds if you play it. What kind of transport is a skiff? Aeroplane, boat, car, train, skiff. It's a boat. How do you know? I'm not sure, but I think I saw something about one on one of these nature programs. Where they were using one? So, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, but it's the right answer. <laughs> Big breaths. Yeah. Think of that huge feed you're going to have after the show. Whatever happens, you've got a thousand pounds guaranteed. At this moment, you've got four thousand. You've got a fifty-fifty. You've got to phone a friend. Have a look at number eight for eight thousand pounds money now going up a bit steeply you would drop three thousand here here it is which actor was married to madonna warren Beatty, rupert everett sean penn jack nicholson sean penn how do you know that it's not rupert everett <laughs> and it's not jack nicholson and I think she was in a film with Warren Beatty. But it's, it's Sean Penn that she was married to. Final answer. Yep. You just won £8,000. It's good, isn't it? You're nearly glad you came now, aren't you? You're almost enjoying it. Um, right. The next one is worth 16000 You've got a 50-50 and a phone a friend left. Have a look at this, question number nine. You're seven away from a million. Which of these is a US state? North Virginia, South Virginia, East Virginia, West Virginia. What are you thinking? I'm thinking about that song, Take Me Home. West Virginia, but I don't know if it's referring to the state. You've got £8,000, you lose seven here if you give me a wrong answer, but it's worth £16,000. 50-50. Okay, computer, take away two wrong answers, leave Tracy the right answer and one remaining random wrong answer. It's worth £16,000. Find a friend. Find a friend, okay. Yeah. Who are you going to phone? Jim. Jim? Yep. Who's he? Jim works with Dave. Okay. <laughs> Hello? 
Hello? Jim? Yes? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, <laughs> right. Good evening. Good evening. Now, I've got Tracy here. Uh, she's doing all right, she's doing well. She's got £8,000. Good. Very good, but... Uh, with your help, we can get her up to 16,000. Now, there are only two possibilities. The next voice here will be Tracy's. She'll tell you two possible answers. One of those is right, one of those is wrong. All right, Jim. Yeah. All right, mate, lots of luck. Tracy, Thank 30 you. seconds. Your time starts now. Hey, Jim. Hello, Tracy. Which of these is a US state, North Virginia or West Virginia? West Virginia. Thank you. OK. Thanks. That's what I thought. But it's a lot to lose, isn't it? It's a lot. So you need to use your lines. West Virginia. You play? Yeah. Don't have to. No, I am. You could have walked away with £8,000 as well. I know. I know. <laughs> you just won £16,000. <laughs> At question number 10, it's worth £32,000. Which one of the four home countries is not represented on the Union Jack? England, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales. It's worth £32,000. I would have thought it's Northern Ireland. If I lose 16,000, no, well, 15,000, the kids would be horrified. So I don't think I'm going to play it. No, Tom, it's up to you. No, I'm not going to do it. It's a lot of sandwiches, 16,000, isn't it? <laughs> it is a lot of sandwiches. Final answer, you didn't take the money? Yeah. You gonna go and have a good feed? A big stiff drink, I think. <laughs> Give her a big hand. Tracy Allen goes away with £16,000. I can tell you, if you'd really ridden your luck and said to me, Northern Ireland, You'd have just lost £15,000. <laughs> Did you do the right thing? The right answer is actually Wales. OK, we're going to take a break. Join us again in a couple of minutes for the third part of tonight. Who wants to be a millionaire? Don't go away. giving away a lot of money. Welcome back to the third part of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Just before the break, sandwich lady Tracy Allen clearly knew which side her bread was buttered on and quit to go back to Burnley with £16,000. Now we've got nine contestants left. Fast finger first again, four answers, one correct order, nice and quiet in the audience please so they can concentrate. Here comes the question. Starting with the shortest, put the reigns of these UK monarchs in order of length. So. The names of four monarchs coming up. We want the one who was on the throne for the shortest amount of time going up to the longest. Here they are. Elizabeth II, George V, George VI, Edward VIII. Looks of uh, mild hysteria on the face of one or two of our contestants. Let's see what happens. Right order then. Um, Edward VIII actually only ruled for 11 months. Uh, George VI, nearly 16 years. Uh, then George V, nearly 26 years. And of course, uh, Elizabeth II, 49 years and still counting. Right, that's the right order. Now, um, how many got it right? These, one, two, three, who was fastest? Darren Comte in 8.75 seconds. Well done, guys. Good You look bewildered. Million 
Here we go, this is Darren Comte. He's a machinist from Chesterfield in Derbyshire. Up in the audience, his wife Julie, and watching at home are the kids, Ashley, who's four, and little baby Daniel, who's just ten months. There they are. Now, four-year-old Ashley wants a wave from Daddy, and he says if he wins tonight, he wants the biggest Power Ranger in the world. Come on, Darren, I think we can promise the wave. Yes. Yeah, good man. <laughs> Darren has a number of nicknames, including Dazza and Mr. Spirit Level. That's what I can understand, Darren. What's Mr. Spirit Level? What's that? Well, every time I do DIY in the house, if it's not level, Spirit Level's got to come out. And when I'm doing fencing, and well, it's terrible. <laughs> so, but are you really obsessive about getting things out? Oh, it's got to be straight. Absolutely straight? Oh, I put a picture straight in room today, in dressing room. It's just... Well, you straightened one up? I did, I. Huh? Oh, most of our contestants nicked them, actually. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got to be straight. straight. Let's talk about the money. Fifteen questions, one million pounds. Obviously, that'd be fantastic. When you're watching at home this with, with uh, Julie and the kids, how do you, I mean, truthfully, everybody says, oh, I always do brilliantly at home, but how do you do at home? Well? Some good days, some bad, but um, I think I get to about 8,000 if I'm lucky. What would be for you a serious amount of money to take home? Half a million. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, now don't forget, we'll tell you this again, the lines are now open for our parent and kids specials, but remember, both players have to be over 16. Now, the number to call, as always, for that is 09068 444444. Fifteen questions then, Darren, three new lifelines. You ready for this? Lots of luck. Yeah. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Okay, question number one. Have a look. It's worth £100. If someone behaves in a pompous manner, they are said to be on their high what? Horse. Hamster. Haddock. Hedgehog. It's I horse. It's the right answer, you got one hundred pounds. I haddock. <laughs> Question number two for two hundred quid, here it comes. Which of these is not a rank in the police force? Admiral. Constable, Inspector, Sergeant. It's Admiral Chris. That's right answer, you've got £200. You're a bit worried for a second. Just take your time, have a look at each one. There are no trick questions, just take your time, have a look, and you have got those lifelines. Question number three is for 300 quid. Here it is. Where is a cello normally put for playing? On your lap, between your knees, under your chin, and across your chest. I think I'll ask the audience for that, Chris, please. Okay. All right, audience, on your key pass, please. That's what those lifelines are for. Make sure we get Darren up to £1,000 at least. Where is a cello normally put for playing? A, B, C, or D? All vote now. Um, 3% think you put a cello on your lap. 9% uh, put it under their chin, nobody puts it across their chest, 88% uh, put it between their knees. I'll go for between your knees. It's the right answer, you've got 300 pounds, we'll play. <laughs> That's what's saving those lifelines, if you're not absolutely sure, you might as well use one up. You've still got two more, you've still got a 50-50, you can still phone a friend. Down this is for 500 quid. Which word goes before servant, liberty and list to make well-known phrases? Polite, civil, courteous, gallant. That's civil, Chris. Sure? Yeah. That's right answer, you got 500 pounds. Okay, this will guarantee you £1,000. The last point you can go home with nothing at all. It won't happen, you've got two lifelines. Question number five is for £1,000. Here it is. What is the fatty extremity of the rump of a cooked fowl called? Vicar's eye, parson's nose, bishop's ear, curate's tooth. <sighs> we'll have to phone a friend. Go clue. Okay, who should we phone? Um, I think I'll phone Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. Uh, tell him the question. Just be aware, if you did give me a wrong answer, here you go, and nothing at all. You have still got that 50 50. Hello. Jimmy.
Jimmy. It is. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Get away. All right, no, no, it's a joke. Yeah, it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? All right, here's a clue. I'm sitting next to Darren Caunt. Good for you. Good for me, right. Uh, he's stuck. He's on 500 quid, but he's got a nasty question he's stuck on. Uh, hopefully we can get him with your help, Jimmy, up to 1,000 pounds. We'll try. Okay. Next question will be Darren's. Uh, he'll tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of them is worth a guaranteed thousand pounds. Okay, Jimmy. Thank you. All right, mate. Okay. Fingers crossed. Darren, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. What is the fatty extremity of the rump of cook fowl called? Vicar's eye, Parson's nose, Bishop's ear, or Curate's tooth? It's Parson's nose, Darren B. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure you're right, mate. Best of luck. Thank you. Ta-da. Parsons nose, please. Never heard of it? Never heard of it. Didn't play? Please. It's the right answer, you got £1,000, we'll play. <laughs> well, you got £1,000. That's guaranteed, which is good news. Um, you still got that 50-50. Have a look at question number six. This is one you might as well play anyway. You can't lose on this, you're guaranteed that 1000 you're 10 away from a million, you're 5 away from 32,000. Have a look at this, this is number 6 of a possible 15. Which sitcom had a theme song called Who Do You Think You Are Kidding, Mr. Hitler? <coughs> the Navy Lark, The Army Game, Dad's Army, Hello, Hello. Dad's Army. Final answer? Yeah. It's the right answer, you've got 2,000. <laughs> Getting better. So we've got a lifeline. Question number seven for four thousand pounds. Here it comes. What nationality is the tennis player Leighton Hewitt? American, Australian, Canadian, South African. Australian, Chris. Sure. Yeah. Right answer. Four thousand pounds. So when you play at home, uh, you frequently get up to about 8,000. You're halfway there. Next question would take you up to 8,000. Have a look at this. You've still got that 50-50. Question number eight of a possible 15 is this for 8,000 pounds. Complete the name of the famous fashion duo, Dolce and Valentino, Gabbana, Raban, Montana. Can I have a 50-50, please? You can. Computer take away two wrong answers, leave Darren the right answer, and one remaining random wrong answer. It's my answer, gone. What was your one? Um, Raban. One of those is worth £8,000, one will cost you £3,000. You've got £1,000 guaranteed. I'm going for B. Goodbye. And it's a guess. Want to lose £3,000? You risk it? Yeah, I'll risk it. Final answer. Final answer. Why'd you pick that one? It sounded good. <laughs> it was good, you just won eight thousand pounds. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you get there, just get there. You got eight thousand pounds. Now you got no lifelines left, but have a look at number nine. See what comes up. Which of these is a smith who shoes horses? Collier, Wright, Mason, Farrier. Well, none of them sound good this time. I'll have to take money, Chris. Sure, not a clue? Yeah, that's my conservatory built. <laughs> is that what you came for? Yeah. Final answer? Yeah, I'll take money. Okay, give him a big hand. Darren Corn goes back to Chesterfield, £8,000 better off. I can tell you the right answer actually was Farrier. Uh, Smith, I'm going for Collier. That's what it's called, a Farrier. Okay, give him a big hand, £8,000 better off. What well up, Okay, we have 10 brand new contestants this Saturday night. We'll meet them all in a couple of minutes after the break. Join us again. Don't go away.
Thank you very much. Welcome back to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now we've got a special extended show tonight. More minutes, more money to give away. Hope to get their hands on it. Ten brand new contestants. They are... Steve Carroll from Greater Manchester. James Thompson from Lincolnshire. Hockwin Wickett from Cardiff. Tom Lucy from Berkshire. Pat Paxton from Northumberland. Paul Robinson from East Sussex. John Norton from London. Maurice Braun from Greater Manchester. Jeff Ross from Surrey. Larry Whitehurst from London. OK, let's pass the finger first. Whoever puts the four answers in the correct order in the fastest time will play for a possible £1 million. Nice and quiet on the audience, please. They need to concentrate. Fastest finger first. Here comes the question. Starting with the lowest, put these sporting numbers in order as featured in a standard game. So four sporting numbers coming up. We want the lowest up to the highest as featured in a standard game. Here they are. Golf course holes, cricket pitch stumps, red balls in snooker, netball team players. Right, ten players started there. They've had a long wait. Let's see who's getting in that chair. Uh, the right order then, starting with the lowest. Um, stumps, cricket stumps, just the six on the pitch. Uh, netball players, seven in a team. Uh, then red balls and snooker, 15 reds. Uh, and then golf course holes, of course, 18. Right, that's the right order. Ten started. How many got it right? These are all correct. Most of them, uh, Tequin Whittock in 7.08 seconds. What's right, Tequin? Right, do you want to play for a million pounds? I certainly do. This is Tequin Whittock. He's from Whitchurch near Cardiff. He's head of business studies at Pontypridd College of Further Education, which is a nice short job title. Up there in the audience, hoping Dad's going to win a million, his youngest son, Rhys. And watching at home, our wife Jill and three more kids, Robert, Helen and another Jill, along with their ancient old Labrador, Bouncer. If Tequin does well tonight, uh, wife Jill, not daughter Jill, you have to pay attention, wants a conservatory. And Reese, who's up there, who's a huge fan of Only Fools and Horses, has been promised a new car, but it has to be a Robin Reliance. <laughs> you are a plonker, Reese. Twelve-year-old Bouncer, the dog, also stands to get his very own luxury silk-lined bed. So you've got it all plotted out then, Tech, haven't you? It's all well planned, Chris, yes. Well, best not to keep the family waiting, but here's something that might be right up his street. The phone lines are still open for our parent and kid specials, coming soon on Millionaire. So if you're 16 or over and you'd like to be here playing for a million, now with either your mum or your dad, or you're a parent who wants to come on here with one of your kids, this is the number you need, 09068 444444. And remember, whoever makes the call gets the cheque made out to them. OK, lots of luck. Here we go. Uh, three lifelines, 15 questions. Let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one, Tequin. You've got three lifelines. This is for £100. Here it is. Which of these words means nonsense? Pilchard's clout. Codswallop. Trout stump. Halibut's clobber. That's uh, Codswallop first. <laughs> That's the right, it is Codswallop. So right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> OK, question number one, £100. No problem at all, this is for 200 quid. Here it is. Which of these is a nautical term? Harsh, severe, stern, strict. Stern. Right answer, £200. <laughs> OK, this is question number three for £300. With which annual event is Notting Hill in London most associated? Carnival, flower show, circus, dog show. That's the carnival. It's the right answer, you've got £300. <laughs> question number four, it's for £500, here it is. What nationality is the singer Charles Aznavour? French. German, Spanish, Greek. Ever heard of him? 
Ever heard his records? He's French. Sure. Right on, so you got five hundred pounds. <laughs> okay, last point, you could go home with nothing at all, Tech, but I'm sure it won't happen. You've got all three lifelines still there. 50-50, phone a friend and ask this audience. Uh, question number five is guaranteed to bring you at least one thousand pounds. Here it is. Which of these sports is played with a round ball? American football, rugby union, association football, Australian rules football. Association football. Right answer, what well on tech when you've got one thousand pounds guaranteed. Okay. Right. You're in good shape. You've got a thousand pounds guaranteed. You're ten away from a million with all three lifelines. This is question number six for two thousand pounds. Which of these is the name of a Star Wars character? Baba the Shed, Baba the Cabin, Jabba the Hut, Gabba the Shack. One of those is the name of a Star Wars character. Baba the Shed, Baba the Cabin, Jabba the Hut, Gabba the Shack. I think I'll have to ask the audience. No, they'll be pleased. Okay, audience, on your keypads, please. Your chance to shine, audience. This is for two thousand pounds. Uh, this is Tequin's question. Which of these is the name of a Star Wars character? A, B, C, or D? It's worth two thousand pounds. All vote now. You sad people. They think that it's Jabba the Hutt. It's a high percentage. They may all be wrong, but it's very high percentage. Good result. So I'll go with the audience. You're going to play? Play it. Final answer? Yes. The right answer is £2,000. <laughs> okay, this is question number seven for £4,000. You've still got 50-50 and you can phone a friend. Have a look at this. It's worth £4,000. In which children's story does an American boy discover he is the heir of an English earl? The Secret Garden, Little Lord Fauntleroy, The Hobbit, The Wind in the Willows. It's Which little, little Lord Fauntleroy? Sure. Sure. Final answer. Yes. The right answer, Jack. When you got four thousand pounds. Okay, uh, you got four thousand. Have a look at number eight. It's for eight thousand pounds. W money. Give me a right answer. You got fifty fifty. Got phone a friend. Here it is. In Greek cookery, what are keftetes? Keftetes. What are they? Meatballs. Braised aubergines. Pureed chickpeas. Sweet pastries. Very good on cookery, Chris. I certainly don't know this. Um, I think I'll phone a friend. Who are you going to phone? Delia Smith? She'd be handy. <laughs> Carol. Carol? Okay. Uh, you know the routine technique. You don't have to take her answer, see what she says, tell her the question. Four possible answers. You've still got a 50 50. At the moment, you've got 4,000 pounds. Where's Carol in Wales? Yes, she's in Cardiff, so. Hi, Carol, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, we've had a quiet little evening here. Now, I've got, um, I've got Tequin here. Yeah. He's doing okay, he's on £4,000, but he's stuck on one particular question. Right. Now, hopefully with your help, Carol, we can get her up to £8,000. Next voice you'll hear will be Tequin to tell you a question. There are still four possible answers. One of those is the right answer. It's worth £8,000. All right, darling. Yes, fine, no problem. Okay, Tequin, 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Good luck. Carol, in Greek cookery, what are Kef Teddies? K-E-F-T-E-D-E-S. Are they meatballs, braised aubergines, puree chickpeas, or sweet pastries? Can you spell the word again? K-E-F-T-E-D-E-S. Um, Greek cookery. I'm not 100% sure at all. Six um, seconds, Carl. I think it might be the sweet pastries, but I'm not sure. 
I need to use the 50-50 then, so I'll press. Okay. Uh, computer take away two wrong answers, leave Tekra in the right answer, and the one remaining wrong answer. Sweet pastries is still there. I haven't, got a, I haven't got a clue, so obviously I'll go with what Carol said. Sweet pastries. Final answer. Final answer. You had £4,000. Tech when you just lost £3,000. <laughs> Anybody who's been to a great restaurant knows it's meatballs. I am sorry, Carol was wrong. It's not her fault, but she was wrong. Hello, oh, give him a big hand. Tech win with it. Back to Cardiff. £1,000 better off. We'll break that one. Now, we've got nine contestants left. Pass the finger first again. Four answers, one correct order. Nice and quiet in the audience, as always. Here comes the next question. Starting with the furthest north, put these UK towns and cities in order. Rotherham, Cheltenham, Nottingham, Birmingham. OK, we've got nine contestants left. Let's check the order then, first and foremost. Uh, this is the right order. Coming from the north, Rotherham, farthest north. Then coming down to Nottingham, then it's Birmingham, and then down south of Birmingham, Cheltenham. That's the right order. Now, how many got it right of our remaining nine? Who's got it right? Uh, who was fastest? John Norton. It's 6.10. <laughs> what I've done? Amazing. Question number one is for £100. Which of these refers to mischievous behaviour? Ape trade. Monkey business. Gorilla enterprise. Chimpanzee venture. I'll go for B, uh, monkey business. Right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> this is for 200 quid. Here it is. You're 14 away from the next million. Which of these is a road safety feature? Cat's eyes, dog's eyes, cow's eyes, bull's eyes. I was hoping fox eyes were going to come up there, but uh, I'll go for cat's eyes. Right answer, 200 pounds. <laughs> right, John, number three for 300 quid, 13 from a million, no use of any lifeline so far. Here it is. William Tell is famous for doing what with an apple? Juggling one, shooting at one, eating one, making a pie from one. Well, I hope it's the one uh, the William Tell that I know, which is uh, shooting at one. On his sunset, it's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> OK, question number four for £400. Here it comes. You're two away from a guaranteed first big master and one down from pounds. Here's question number four. Which word goes before eel, shock and guitar to make well-known phrases? Gas, nuclear, paraffin, electric. I'm glad electric came up. I was getting worried before that. <laughs> Not paraffin, but paraffin <sighs> eel. No, no, you got me wondering. Mm -hmm. No, I'll go for electric. Right answer, you got 500 quid. <laughs> Okay, John, you got 500 quid. This is for £1,000. Here it is. What is the ingredient in concrete that sets it hard? Sand, gravel, cement, water. Um, let's see. I reckon that would be cement. If you get this wrong, you won't be welcome on any building site. Um, final answer? I think so. Yep, it's the right answer, you've got £1,000. <laughs> well done, John. I'm starting to wonder about that one. Eh? Hey? starting to wonder about that one. It's always a big sigh of relief. Uh, whatever stage you get to £1,000, it's a big... Right, I'm guaranteed to go home with that. Whatever happens, everybody can hold their head up high. You've got three lifelines. Question number six, if you play it, and you might as well, would bring you £2,000 if you give me the right answer. Here it is. Which of these is a light, two-wheeled vehicle used in Asian countries? Luge, kayak, sampan, rickshaw. Well, 
We're assuming Rick Shaw isn't a person. Or Kai Ak. <laughs> or Kai Ak. Or Sam Pan. Could be Sam Pan, another person. Could be Shaw and Sam Pan. Yes. But I'll go for Rick Shaw. Final answer. Shaw, Rick. Shaw, sure, Shaw. Sure. Yeah. The right answer. You got two thousand pounds. Right, you're nine away from a million. This is question number seven for four thousand pounds. Here it is. Which fictional detective is assisted by Captain Hastings, Miss Marple, Lord Peter Whimsey, Father Brown, Hercule Poirot? That's worth four thousand pounds. You got two thousand. Captain Hastings. Detective novels are not, not my forte. Um, can I uh, ask the audience? You can. That's sort of how it works. Yeah. Okay, audience, on your keypads, please. Uh, this is the question. Let's get John up to four thousand pounds. Which fictional detective is assisted by Captain Hastings? A, B, C, or D? All vote now. Uh, Eleven percent say Miss Marple. Fourteen percent Lord Peter Whimsey. Three percent Father Brown. Big majority for Hercule Poirot. You don't have to play this. You don't have to go with them. But it's your call. It's quite hard. Seventy-two percent is pretty good. I'll They're a funny them. lot though. I'll go with the audience. Final answer. Yes. It's the right answer. Well done, everybody. Okay, you've got four thousand pounds. You've got two pounds left. Have a look at question number eight. It's worth eight thousand pounds. Here it is. The musical Cabaret is set in which city? Berlin, Rome, Paris, Vienna. I think it's Berlin. Final answer. I think so. In the film? Uh, yeah, a long time ago. Right answer, you've got 8,000 pounds. Okay, still got 50-50, still got that important phone a friend. Question number nine is for 16,000 pounds. In 2000, which football club bought the Frenchman David Ginola? In 2000, who bought David Ginola? Leeds United, Aston Villa, Middlesbrough, Arsenal. 2000, yeah, Villa. Final answer. John Green. It's the right answer, you've got £16,000. Right. <laughs> and that's all for tonight's show. Earlier on, Tracy Allen went back to Burnley with £16,000. Darren Corn took home £8,000. Techwin Whittock still pocketed the grant. John Norton here is on £16,000 and he has two lifelines remaining. We're back Tuesday night. Let's see you'll be joining us then. Helen Jones, J.D. McCarthy, Jimmy Hammond, Dane Andrews, Helen Jefferson, Dave Evans, Carol Masters, Erica Wainwright, Jenny Lumley and Nick Hulse. Now don't forget the lines are now open for our parents and kids specials. Oh no, that's six eight double four double four double four. Remember, we're back Tuesday. Join us then for another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good night.